What's up guys? This is the Brotherman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off, we are chasing down some of these British stacks around in England hoping to try and wrest the territory into our control finally and we are going to eradicate the last of this Irish volunteer force that we engaged near London. So let us attack. Yep, things have, things have gone pretty well with the invasion of the British Isles. The main, the main goal for me isn't just the tax, a little cluster of territories, um, but the securing of a modern university is huge. So let's deploy our, some mortars on the right flank, some more, some howitzers, sorry, on the left flank. Our artillery can be behind us on this raised piece of terrain and just engage. They have significantly... Well, they have a, a very small amount of men, so... Uh, no cleverness here. Our cover on the right, general in the centre. I forgot one unit of artillery, so they can go up here. And then... Everyone is right where they should be. So you're just about in the right position at least. Move up to secure the town. Run our cavalry up around the flank. Yeah, you guys better run. Let's go our general around the left, ready to intercept whoever may attempt to flee. Let's pick proper how it's targets. To so drop these guys into square, it should be enough. Yeah, you run. So we're going to be engaging these, these Irish volunteers at point blank range. Tried a few different things to try fix it, but it's still just. I don't know. We've broken on the left. There's a mass exodus of troops over there, so where's my general? Let's run him straight in. Shattered, shattered, broken, 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 broken. So it should be the units that are broken that receive the fire, I think. run the general straight in, pick new artillery targets and then yeah I want one unit to engage the general, everyone else just push through you Friendly fire-ish, but fortunately I haven't got too much cavalry around there. Now the job is to attack this last pocket. Try kill the general if he's within our little cluster, but it doesn't look like he is. No, you come back. Chase down these fellas. You chase down the 17th. Right now, this is all fairly simple and routine. Look 
because we know they're going to they're all going to break and flee so let's, I'm going to speed up time now to be honest yeah there they go Help fire all the artillery. Should you attack that unit of five men? Where are you going now? No, don't worry about them then. If that's where they're going to go. Here with this set of cavalry, then. Four, three, two, one. Those guys are going to escape. This other cavalry unit did manage to take them out. Probably not going to get to the 25th, though. There you go. It's all my cavalry onto the 25th now. But, yep, yeah, there's the red line. They're going to safely escape. But it was a good victory of a small British force with not very men lost on our side, 63. So they've been forced northward. Forward for crown and country. Let's replenish our men, push up to Birmingham. Good. You need to push back towards Dublin. The territory itself is, well, it will It'll come round. Um, there will be rebellions still, but right now we need to get these men over to the British Isles because they've got some quite serious fleets, which really we could really do with recruiting some troops or some particular units to go and occupy the various ports. But I think for now, that's all we can really do. So my navy, yeah, it's a bunch of fifths. Um, it's your then turn, because I have no money. That army's marching up. I'm fairly sure the what we're going to see is... Well, the British Isles are going to perpetually be raided by British ships. These guys are wandering around raiding. It doesn't it means we don't have to worry about the territory into um, in, into a town, and I just not have to worry about that. But yeah, my intention has always been to secure the British Isles and use a holding position for a fight in India, which I think would be quite fun. Um, Bengal to the east, use that as our base of operations, and then push westward. There will likely always be some forces remaining in the British Isles, just in case anyone tries anything, such as the Swedish, which we are actually at war with. There we go. First rebellion in England. It's Theodore, your max replenishment. Didio. You replenish, get back to Ireland. They can't really push because they've got some some depleted units. Hadrian Marie is probably going to go and take out the the uh, priests, not the priests, the rebels. Uh, let's get some of our fifth rates Ships orders. Ships sail on water. around to the ports that we can currently occupy and I'm probably going to demolish that naval hospital it doesn't really need to be a naval hospital if you're replenishing with good roads let's repair the naval college add metal roads you guys keep replenishing let's recruit uh, so we've got 
we're gonna have one shipyard realistically maybe two so we might keep newcastle as being a military shipyard so i want militia occupying these ports but let's take adrian marie and go hit stephen rook and go destroy some rebel scum don't destroy rebels in the army and the territory is still in rebellion they grow, they grow stronger and stronger but if you destroy the rebel army then so it's very much worthwhile engaging these guys at the earliest opportunity otherwise they will just gather in strength raid your territories till it's no longer worthwhile really holding them because they're already broken and just generally cause you a lot of misery so let's go for a more traditional setup here we're going to want our, our cavalry wet ready to counter charge and chase down raiding troops Comes the carcass shot. You could probably do with just focusing on that unit of white dragoons. Could probably move this unit of cavalry up. Probably push this line of infantry up. You guys could also be spread out a bit more. It's got some British fusiliers there that look really, really cool, I think. Royal Welch fusiliers. This is in the game. It's with a particular DLC, I think. It's not a mod. Line infantry, Swiss line. They're a new unit. The other set of guns also hit the Light Dragoons. Thirty-third foot. It's the Sharps Regiment when he goes off to fight in India. So he's one of these guys. <laughs> and you have this unit of guards back here who are bugged out because they're running, unless they're waiting for this one guy to get into position. Yeah, they're definitely bugged out. He's running loops, and it's stopping them all from moving. Oh, they, they, they got out of formation and went, went hidden. And you can see now they've been obliterated. Damn, that cannonball took out a line of Volsh fusiliers and then hit the Dragoons. There we go, the Royal Welch Fusiliers are now in position. Too bad. There they go, they've been routed. Let's get the light horse on the go, but obviously avoid these here spikes. Where's my other cavalry? These guys keep annihilating the Swiss line. No! I oh, ought thank Christ I spotted my own mistake.
not bothered about chasing down the dragoons. Can now chase down the Royal Vulture Fusiliers. Mercenaries trying to counter charge. How cute. Too bad they do not do well trying to fight cavalry either. General's bodyguard chased down those Royal Welch. Mercenaries. Okay, keep attacking them. Get these guys across to start attacking both of these men. Damn right, we're going to continue. He's a rebel skirm. hit the fusiliers before they escape at least. Not kill them, but do a lot of damage. Come on. Two, one, done. Yeah, don't go after the mercenaries, they're not as important. You try to kill some British Fusiliers. There's nothing you guys can kill, so attack them. Although you're not going to be very long finishing them off. They're all dead. So it's down to the fourth light horse to kill these last three. This last one. There he goes. Excellent. We lost 76 men. The rebels Dead have been destroyed. Your... And has that cheered you up? It's cheered you up a bit. Your Majesty. Spend the money on repairs. I mean, I definitely did not mean to move all of my ships out of Greenwich. And let's get Greenwich repaired. Ships orders, Captain. So you're being demolished. No damaged buildings being repaired. Building some militia. Got grenadier guards, line infantry guards. New port emerges. Georgetown in the Carolinas. There we go. Let's do a bit of spending in the glorious south. It looks like I've probably neglected this area quite a bit. Savannah. Let's upgrade your government building as well. Let's upgrade the farm to a great estate. You guys straight back to Plymouth which needs to continue rebuilding. Michel Belmont. I want to go see what this stack's like. Not well, very good. Let's take him out. So they can sit there till we can get more ships over. A new town emerges in Monterey in New Spain. There you go, industry building. Uh, Saratoga has built a new craft workshop. We're building up our tea plantations in Ceylon. Don't worry, Mysore. Not Mysore. Mughal Empire. We're going to be after you. We just want to secure 
I want to secure this territory first. Everything else is generally going towards useful things. Light infantry, light infantry doctrine would be nice. It would just get all the way down to machine rifling. Rifling would be pretty good. I'm going to let them carry on doing what they're doing. Okay, I'm not going to ship you guys over just yet. To be honest, I might ship these guys over to Sri Lanka because we don't really need the men in Britain anymore. The territory is becoming pacified. These guys are going to continue to route, uh, cause problems, so let's auto-resolve when they get within range. Uh, Counter-offer. Just that. I'm not going to give you any territory. Um, they're moving a lot of troops around. Just one of their navies just got a bit of a pasting. And my intention is to not fight in Europe too much. Obviously I will fight in Europe. Although I think I'm at war with Sweden, so that might provide some interesting opportunities to attack Scandinavia. I do need to build up my navy to square off against the Spanish. Because they do have a lot of cross um, North Africa in order to capture the last Austrian territory, to capture uh, Algiers. Well, I forgot I put my navy here. Let's hop over. Put, put Trinidad under. Put them under siege for now. Yes, my lord. Chiefly, my main objective, or my main concern, is to make sure I clear out the rebels here. So yeah, they do. They do really hate us. And that clamor for reform is only going to go up, so it's going to take quite a few turns. Yes. Forward. Immediately. I mean, that might help. Humble servant. I mean, we could un we could not tax them, but that won't change things too much. Let's upgrade the army board, upgrade the gunnery school. <laughs> Probably are going to assault Edinburgh, although I'd like more 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 howitzers than that. But I suppose it provides a bit more of a sporting chance. So may begin recruiting a second force. So let's start to get some line infantry guards. There we go. I'm going to recruit a second army ready. I mean, we are at war with Spain. I'm not going to fight Spain. Uh, let's repair the naval hospital down here so I can recruit more ships. And then let's take... Well, I think in terms of what can fit in this episode, I think it might actually be better I attack Trinidad and Tobago. And then next episode of Britain, because they do territory in Courland. So, unless you want to fight all these, fight all these Royal Navy stacks, we need to... Uh, yeah, and then probably withdraw. But here we have our lovely America's... Battle map. Put some of our elites in the center. Drop our second set of guns over here. Good stuff. Drop another line of infantry. Them they're chiefly irregulars here, so I'm not overly concerned.
Garrison Waters, eh? So everyone's got to run up. Because you do not want to sit back getting hit by mortars. So just push up aggressively. So what have they got? Lots of armed populace, levy. We've got some African musketeers. Just let the artillery engage however it wants. Although I probably would like you to hit better targets. I mean, look, my guns did smash straight into one of the gun crews here, which is pretty good. There we go. Push these guys up, because we're about to have the first engagement on the right flank. Although, in general they're advancing across the board because they are aware of what's going to happen. Again, too bad about the sound. There they go. So the thing to remember with these sort of levy armies is that they will route, come back, route, come back, route, come back. So the important thing is to just keep ready, be ready just to keep chasing them down. Keep cavalry in a good position to harass them. So like these fellows, these bowmen, actually try get my cavalry in a position to actually uh, shatter them and remove them from the field. Yeah, so they start, some of them start to come back. Still hit the bowmen. We've run this far. To the point where it doesn't even really matter what's going on in the centre. They're not going to break our line. Only thing to do is to just run down their troops. Just make sure they don't come back. That's all it is, because you're not interested in trying to actually kill them. Because there's just too many. To be honest, I think my artillery's had enough. It's done enough for now. Musketeers are still around. But yeah, now we want to get the general involved because they may as well get some kills. And probably put speed up to the next level because there's only one unit over here. It's currently standing their ground. Get my general to run down some of these chaps. The unpopulous. Run those guys up just to help out. So the African infantry will chase down my general, which is obviously not quite what I want. It's just, that means they're just going to uh, run away from my actual battle line. 
but just keep cutting them down. Got another unit of levy over there. Just take him out. As soon as they get touched by unit of infantry, they're done. There we go. There goes the levy. We're going to continue just to try and harvest kills for the cavalry. see if we can get any extra like one of these units actually got took quite a lot of damage in trying to uh, trying to fight their way out oh, they made it so the only one alive is this unit fighting the general here which is now the target of all of my cavalry so they will not be alive for very long. Well, they might actually. They might flee. Oh no, they didn't. <laughs> There's one guy being buffed around by horsemen in that group. Good stuff. There we go. Then let's destroy the Subadar's palace. Steam dry duck. tempting but I'm going to destroy it chiefly because you have a steam powered sugar mill and I would like to export their goods let's replenish, build the roads upgrade the port here let's upgrade this farm to palatial state good stuff and then let's take Amadio Mortier and we're going to assault the city of Edinburgh. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the last British city on the British Isles. Cheers everyone.